Well, Asia and EM equities have significantly underperformed uh, the U.S. this year. Um, that's had quite a bit to do with China's own uh, tightening cycle, which has been in evident really since the get-go at the start of the year, but also more recently the regulatory reset, as we call it, in China. But then also there's the, the issue that in relation to uh, COVID management uh, and the frequency of lockdowns and the interruption to the recovery and consumption and services, Asia is clearly lagging uh, the U.S., and, and Europe, and we've written quite a bit about that. So what that all means is that the U.S. stands out for having had the best earnings revisions of any region in the world this year, and unfortunately, Asia and emerging markets are, are lagging badly. Mm. When you look at Chinese equities, um, uh, we're seeing a lot of lingering concerns, regulatory overhang. Uh, what does this mean for earnings growth when it comes to these Chinese companies? We've been marking our earnings growth and multiple assumptions uh, lower, in fact, since the middle of January. So this is not a sort of a new story uh, for us. Uh, we are more fairly valued than we were, clearly, at the top in, in, in late January, early February. Um, base case, probably, we're looking at low teens, um, maybe around 12%, 13% dollar EPS growth on a 12-month forward basis for the MSCI China universe. Uh, but the question is what multiple to put on that. At the moment, the market found some support in recent trading sub-13 times forward PE. Our target multiple is 13 times forward, so it's interesting we bounce back up to that kind of level. So it leaves things sort of fairly evenly balanced right now. Um, we are not as bearish as we were uh, in January, February. But equally, we are not advising clients that this is an, an interesting dip to buy. We, we've really just mm -hmm. achieved, I think, a fair value level for what we know at the moment. OK, so if it's not China, then what would you recommend investors uh, uh, put? Where do they, what would you recommend investors put their money ahead uh, of this taper talk? Well, we've been emphasizing across, across the piece globally, in fact, quality stocks, which typically do well at this phase of the cycle. We're in the mid, if not the late cycle phase, when quality tends to do a lot better compared to, for example, early cycle value cyclicals. In this region, we have overweights, uh, which include India uh, and Singapore, both for different reasons, but they both perform well this year, and we're continuing uh, to overweight those.